This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, and I'll bet you never knew that I was a graffiti artist or a street artist. And you're going to see some of the artwork that I've done for the past 30 years. And my street art just doesn't decorate streets. It decorates things like this vase. And I call a lot of these things reversos because there's secret artwork on the other side. I didn't just use ordinary spray paints, well some of it is, but I custom mixed and matched a lot of my paints to have special effects. I included gold dust and diamond dust, real gold leaf, I mean, I went crazy. I used all types of special effects, metal flake and custom metallics. I still don't see how people mistake these for something else. I mean, really. Even though I'm really well known for my Stop Sopa video, I do a lot of failed toy reviews. For years, I illustrated children's books and designed toys with lots of popular characters. Not these, because these aren't the characters. That's not the Roadrunner. It's obviously a duck-billed dog kiss. I mean, really. Who could mistake that for the Roadrunner? It's a dog all the way down to its paws. And there's my signature, Mike Mozart Reverso. Do you know what happens to artwork after the artist dies? You should go for the old fat ones, because they're going to go first. Now, a lot of people might mistake this for being Dexter sitting in a big pot of boiling brew. But it's actually not. This is just a little tiny detail from the other side. It's so obvious when you actually look at these as a small part of a much bigger whole. Stunning details. Incredible colors. Oh, it has Bluetooth. And this one includes the words 3D Vision because this is color shifting paint. Depending on the angle you stand, it turns different colors. And this character is called the Lab Rat. And of course, it's a genuine Mike Mozart Reverso. I mean, really larger character. Look how big I am. I don't do anything little. Everything's enormous. What I'm hoping to do is find a gallery, maybe in New York City. That would be ideal since I live right outside New York City that wants to show this controversial show. Of course, it'd have to be a gallery that was clever enough to show that these paintings are on both sides. And both sides are necessary because it shows I'm not infringing anybody's copyright. Well, a lot of people might mistake this for Jack Skellington, but they'd be wrong. This isn't Jack Skellington. It's a detail of a much bigger picture. That's on the other side, the reverso. But now look at what this painting actually is. This is the big copyright jackass. I mean, really. Who would mistake that for Jack Skellington now? And I'm not the unknown artist. Search Mike Mozart in quotations on Google. There's a million hits for me or my company Jeepers Media. And my next Mike Mozart reverso is one of the orneriest, craziest, shooting up characters in the whole world. It's not actually Yosemite Sam. How could anyone mistake you duck you miss for Yosemite Sam? And what do we have here? No, it's not Waldo or Wally, depending on where in the world you are. But a lot of people make that mistake. I can't understand why. But if you look at the other side, it's, it's obviously the Santasaurus. I mean, what else could that be? This is obviously not Marvin the Martian. And I use lots of found real objects that would have been found outside on those original brick walls. I still can't tell people mistake these for something else. I mean, really? That's actually a gigantic butterfly. Of course, how could anybody get that wrong? We need to save fair use because this is commentary on the big media companies and how they're trying to silence you. So copyrights now are the beast. And on the reverso part, I use paint markers. Sometimes I use spray paint, but the boards are always prepped with crazy backgrounds before I start. Do you think I should just do my YouTube videos and do these paintings and just retire? This is a continuation of the street art that I was doing in the 1970s and 80s. I was doing it before it was popular. I created a lot of these samples way back then. And what happened is the galleries at the time said, no one's gonna buy graffiti art. You can see it in the streets for free. And then Keith Haring came out and made street art very popular. But by then I was illustrating children's books and designing toys and I had a family and I didn't have the time anymore to put into my artwork, but now I do. And now I have a reason just to show the hypocrisy of these people. All of this artwork is fair use, absolutely. All of my works of art are two-sided commentaries on the hypocrisy and ridiculous copyright laws we have now that are being manipulated by big media companies that'll claim they own the tiniest shred of media. And one of my favorite street artists and good friends is Alec Monopoly. He's a brilliant artist of the Monopoly guy, and he uses him in lots of very critical commentary and social ways. He made this shirt for me when I was visiting him at Alki David Studios. And of course, Alex signed it everywhere, as he normally would, and the cuffs. Hey, this is not Eric Cartman. I mean, a lot of people would mistake that for Eric Cartman, but it is definitely not. 
especially when you see the other side. Just one small piece of a much larger picture, the pterodactyl, another Mike Mozart reverso. That's obviously a dinosauric creature. Now this isn't what you think it is. This is not Raphael. No way. This is just another little detail of a much bigger picture. Obviously a big swamp alligator. There is no way you could confuse that with Raphael. Kawabunga dudes! This is obviously not SpongeBob and Patrick. Why would people make that mistake? The other side shows they're completely different characters and creatures all together. It's a big pink sea anemone and some weird undersea fish being attacked by an even bigger fish. And Mike Mozart's reversos aren't just graffiti art on wallboard, they're also incredible vases. They're also, um, this is not Scooby-Doo. If you saw the other side, you would see it's not. This is another Mike Mozart free to re-upload anywhere on the internet you wish video, or you can click this remix button under the screen and you can re-upload it to your channel and the views will count on your channel. How can you beat that? Help me spread the word. Mike Mozart reversals are also on a lot of antique clocks. I especially like the original George Nelson clocks for Herman Miller. I turn them all into reversos. This is one of my next projects. And this beautiful vintage Danish modern clock by Humanoff Design is going to become another Mike Mozart reverso. I hope you enjoyed all this artwork. You're welcome to share this video anywhere on the internet or hit that remix button under the screen and share this with your friends on your own channel. I also made a lot of pictures. I mean, I made over 120 of these. Most have given away. I still have at least 27. That's my homage to Keith Haring, which I was very proud of. I made that in 1990 and really loved it. And here's a little bit closer look at the Keith Haring picture. I used all kinds of, what at the time, revolutionary painting techniques. And I kept a little leather bound book and I kept track of all those techniques. And I'm going to bring them all back in a lot of new pictures. So please share this video anywhere you can. If you know someone that owns a gallery, great. You know, send them a link to this. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.